Hey, how's it going? So we're doing a uh, truck tour. So this description is incorrect, all right? It's just completely incorrect, so ignore it. And so one thing is there is no circular reference. You can only travel from left to right, okay? You cannot go backwards, okay? That's one thing. The second thing is if an index does not work, you can get rid of it. You can just pretend it does not exist, and that's it. Now, they are asking one question. At what index do you start so you can drive until the end of the array perpetually? Does that make sense? Right? So they're asking at what index, let me just, um, at what index, at what index can you drive until the end of the array? And that's it. You do not have to um, go back to the previous indexes, right? And another hidden um, in here hidden condition is that there is always a solution, always. So if it's not the first index, you can just ignore it, right? It has to be then one of the other two or one of the other ten, right? So here's how it works. We're going to set current petrol to zero. That's going to be our starting condition, right? So first we have liters in the pump, right? It's going to be one. And then expenditure to drive to the next petrol station is going to be five. Okay. So if we start at this petrol station, what will be our petrol right so our petrol is going to be current petrol plus what we get at the pump minus um what we have to expand to travel to the to the next petrol station all right so this is negative we cannot use this index right oh yeah and another thing is you can start at any petrol station, right? So you can imagine there's like a gazillion of them. You can start any one of them, right? So next, we are now on index one. We're going to reset our current petrol to zero. All right, we reset our current petrol to zero. Now we're going to check. So, so this doesn't work, so we can get rid of it, right? Okay, so the petrol at the pump is going to be 10. Distance travel is going to be three. So how much petrol is going to be left when we arrive at this petrol station? So it's going to be current petrol plus what we get at the pump minus distance travel, 7, right? Okay, so we lock in this index. Now the question is can we drive, drive perpetually after the, this index? If we can, this index is the answer. All right, so now we check, can we drive one more, right? And not perpetually until the end of the array, my apologies, until the end of the array. So now we check, okay, is the petrol, um, what's the petrol here? We get three at the pump and we expand four. So we take current petrol plus what we get at the pump minus can we arrive to the next petrol station? The answer is yes, we can. Now we're at the end of the array. So this index is the answer. And that's it. Now we can add more um, indexes in here if you want. Uh, liters of pump, let's say five. We get three here, let's say two. Let's say two and we get know, five, right? So you see, we we now at this petrol station, and we have petrol six, right? Can we drive again? Can we drive again? So it's going to be two five. We we'll repeat the process. Are we pass positive? Yes. Okay. Can we drive to the next petrol station? So we're going to copy this here. Yes, we can. Right. And then finally, can we drive to this petrol station? Perfect, we can. So this index is the answer. Do you see what they're asking, 
right? All this uh, is so confusing and misleading. They're basically asking you after which index you can drive forever until you reach the end of the array. That's it. That's the question that they're asking. And of course, because the question is so easy, once you figure this out, it's very easy to create a solution, right? So we do let petrol, well, we can say current petrol. Petrol equals to zero. We're going to iterate through the array. Let i, uh, variable i, equal to zero. i smaller than petrol farm that length. i plus plus. So there's two ways to do it. So um, petrol at the pump. So this is going to be current petrol equals to current petrol plus this number here, right? So it's going to be petrol pumps index. So we're iterating and it's going to be the first number, which is going to be zero, right? Um, let me just console log current petrol for you. Okay. Now we need to draw. So, so that we have now refueled, right? We have now refueled. We need to now drive to the next petrol station. Petrol at arrival to the next petrol station. Basically, think about this as a um, question where after what index this number here is going to be always positive like after what index is current petrol always positive until the end of array that's it okay so now our current petrol is going to be current petrol minus um, petrol pumps index and that's going to be the second number Right. Well, it's going to be the, the second number, right? Okay. So, what do we do in here, right? What do we do in here? If current petrol is smaller than zero, right which means we cannot start at this petrol station we just have to chop this uh, chop this uh, index off out right so we gotta reset our current petrol to zero right and then we're gonna create we can actually create index in here let index equals zero right and then we need to lock in the index we need to lock it in so if current petrol is smaller than zero we reset the current petrol to zero so what we're effectively doing we are ignoring this right ignoring this and then we reset in current petrol to zero now we need to somehow lock in this index and the way to do that is we simply add plus one to the index at which it failed right so we're gonna do index is equal to i plus one right so now we we know that index zero does not work let's try index one right index one so now we locked in our index at index one right now if this condition does not trigger then index is the answer right because think about it this way after this index uh, petrol was always positive always positive so this condition did not trigger which means that this index is the answer and then we just return this index and that's it return index and that's it now you can see it in here you see physically after index one seven six 
is positive. And if we look in here, petrol is always positive. Yeah, I'm actually going to rephrase that. Yeah, 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 yeah. At what index petrol is always positive? And that's it. And then we just return that, and then that's it. That's the solution. Da -da 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 -da. And that's it. You're done. Take care.